Polk Magni 5 Mini Axe Review This soundbar and subwoofer combo provides a lot of value for its price. It is physically unassuming, yet features impressive capacities such as network music streaming, and compatibility with Dolby Atmos and DTSX while also providing outstanding performance for people seeking a cost-effective solution. Polk has made an unexpected soundbar and subwoofer system with the Magni 5 Mini Axe. It's difficult to actually label it as a bar, due to the fact that it appears much like a bump in the middle of the television. Therefore, this unique sound bump and subwoofer solution. Contrary to what we thought from the pictures, the lozenge is quite small, measuring only 34 cm wide and 8 cm high, perfect for fitting beneath a 75-inch Samsung TV. Check your own screen height against the 8 cm of Polk's first mini collaboration to find out if you have enough space. The magnifying is mostly done by the subwoofer, which is quite bulky and has an oval driver facing downwards. It emits sound from the bottom and is slightly affected by furniture around it, but should not be placed in cabinets. The subwoofer is much bigger than the sound lozenge, standing tall at 37 centimeters. Finding the best position to get maximum bass strength in relation to your listening location won't make it very inconspicuous. The lozenge unit has three audio input options, an HDMI connection with eARC for compatible TVs, an optical digital connection for TVs without eARC or ARC, and a 3.5mm analog mini jack as a final option. Generally, people stick to one source when using the TV, however, it is possible to use HDMI as well as an analog source connected to the mini jack. Furthermore, Polk's Wi-Fi connection makes it possible to stream via AirPlay 2 and Chromecast. Bluetooth is also supported but there is no evidence of any high-quality Bluetooth codecs, so if you can, opt for the Wi-Fi streaming option. Besides the 127 by 178 m subwoofer driver, this particular system features a unique set of LCR drivers. The left and right channels each have 19mm and 51mm mid-range drivers, while the center channel has only one mid-range driver. The thick fabric and metal grille on the body of the lozenge obstructs viewing of how the drivers are positioned or tilted. The top has a plastic oval with six press buttons, ruling out any upward firing drivers. Also, there is nothing to disperse the sound particularly wide although the outer LR drivers may be angled that way. Incredibly. It works well with a small lozenge. We'd expect to hear a gap between them as audio moves from one to the other, but it's undetectable when listening to movies or music heavy shows. Even with a tone sweep, there are no major holes or peaks when transitioning from the subwoofer to the lozenge. The Polk pair's even frequency response is impressive, but they also have remarkable spatial processing that expands the sound field without sacrificing vocal clarity. Whatever processing Polk has added to them works wonders. Playing the Sex Pistols' first performance in Pistol on Disney Plus with the volume turned up high, we heard a swirling and expansive sound field when Jones had a nervous breakdown. Throughout the end of Episode 2 of Pistol, a subtle but ominous bass could be heard coming from the subwoofer. The precision crossover to the lozenge provided an impressive sense of something larger than Polk's physical sound system, with the show's gunshot jingle carried by a powerful and overwhelming undercurrent. It's refreshing to see a distinct solution from one of Sound United's brands, recently. We noticed one Polk soundbar that shares almost all characteristics except for an HDMI input with an almost identical bar from its sister company Denon. This lack of originality does not motivate customers to feel loyal or intrigued by any particular brand. Even though we didn't expect it, the Magni 5 Mini X has proven to be a true Polk product with its approach to sound in music, TV shows, and movies. This successful device works well across all types of genres, 